guys, uh, back with another quick tip. And today I want to go over a feature of Rob Pappin's Predator that you uh, might not be aware of. And it's very useful if you're not an amazing keyboard player. So basically what Rob Pappin has done is included a chord memory feature uh, in Predator. Uh, and it kind of harks back to some of the early uh, synths like the Poly 6 and the Memory Moog that uh, brought this feature out. It's um, a really useful feature, as I say, if you're not great at playing uh, chords very quickly. And if you're after kind of that old school sort of techno or house sounds, uh, this is something that a lot of the early producers would have been using, um, especially on those early synths like the Poly 6. Um, so to use the chord feature, uh, it's going to be by default set to off. You're going to go here to this chord area and you'll click on that. I'm right clicking and I can click on learn. And once it's in learn mode, basically the procedure is to play in a chord, uh, starting with the root note key and then the additional keys in that chord. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play in a C minor ninth. Um, but first I'm going to go ahead and let you hear what this sounds like, uh, this particular patch without the chord memory function. So, you know, decent sound, not amazing. Um, so I'm going to put this into learn mode. And as I said, I'm going to play in a C minor ninth. Now, if you're not aware of how to play in those kind of chords, uh, you can go to the Loop Masters blog. And on the Loop Masters blog, we have something called Loop Plus. And uh, once you're in Loop Plus, which you access by clicking this, you'll see that there are a bunch of different sets of tutorials based on whatever your interest is. One of them is music theory. If you click on that, you'll come to this random chord generator post. And that will take you to this page here. It's a great online tool. Um, for figuring out how to play chords. So you see that I've selected C and minor ninth here, and then it will show me exactly what I need to play on the keyboard. So if I return to Predator, and I'm in learn mode, as you see here, I'm going to go ahead and hit those keys on my keyboard. And I will now get out of learn mode and go into play mode. And now by simply triggering one key up and down the keyboard, I'm playing various chords like this. So that sounds great, right? You can uh, see that you'll be able to really quickly come up with some nice ideas. Um, you can obviously reprogram in different chords if you like. And uh, it's a nice way to sort of, uh, you know, get past your own sort of playing issues if you're not amazing on the keyboard. Um, so that's really it. One other thing I wanted to touch on quickly is there's also this really cool variation feature that Rob Pappin has put into Predator. Um, so A, B, and C basically refer to the synth section and D refers to the effects section, and you can create simple variations of these by clicking uh, on these things, turning them on, and uh, you'll be able to basically m morph between your original patch. And the amount button here will allow you to figure out how much you're going to morph from. So I would recommend that you also check that out, um, play around with that, and um, have fun with the chord feature.